Oh hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to this little steam engine build. It's part nine. In the last one we made up all these boiler parts, which have all been nicely pickled up and ready to go back together. I've had a look in the book and this hole here, which we talked about, that's the um the steam pipe. That's got to be lined up with this, this bush here and it is in this end so you just got to get him in so that he's nicely in line you're just going to give him a bit of a tap there Want this nice and parallel to the edge there. Probably wants to be just a fraction proud. We'll have a look with a square. Let's take the time to get this right. It's beautiful that way. And it's just a fraction high on that side. Still just a fraction high. And that's good, and that's good. So that's one end together. The other one just taps in. Beautiful and square, beautiful and square that way. One last little tap. Really bad combination square, I need a new one or a decent one. That's on my wish list. There we go. So, we need to flux him up. So I've got a brand new stick of solder here, it's 15% silver. I'll mix up the paste so that there's so that's right and just run a little bit around there. Take the time to clean the tip on the torch so it's not hissing and roaring and making funny noises. It's not going to go out in the middle of the way.
when that starts getting hot that should just run in don't put too much in one side so that's got a nice fillet all the way around there I'm just going to let that cool a bit and then turn it over it is really pretty hot there Got no way in the world of turning it over while it's hot. Something we didn't think out. So I've turned it over and fucked up the other end. So that's a nice fillet round that end. I don't know if you can see that particularly well. If we zoom in, that's probably just the thing. And next job, I guess, is to pickle it again. So hour in the pickle and a lot of elbow grease later this is what we've got there's the ends of if you want a good close look there the ends are a nice fillet around there because this is brown tip solder which is only 15% silver I haven't got a real good polished weld joint there which it's probably not a huge deal but it's going to make it fairly hard to to get it shiny. If you use 45% silver on copper you'll end up with a beautiful silver finish joint and it looks good so it's probably worth the effort to find some some proper solder but this is gone this is just plumber solder and it's gone through gone around really well for silver solder. Have a close look there It's got a little bit of a hollow point there, but it's not actually going to leak. It's still a good joint. Right round, both ends. And there's the hole for the steam pipe, and the one for the for the safety valve and filler and filler bush. So, so thanks for watching, guys. Next time I'll have a look at the boiler fittings and get on and do a little bit more to this so more soon